I just gave you the um, idea of fighting Andrew Galana, and what you're saying? I would love to. Uh, I've been a big fan of his. Uh, uh, I'm very, very fond of him, and I have been for many, many years. Uh, it, it, it would be a great honor to come out of retirement and fight one of my idols. You know, you're saying idols, and then you are not just doing the lip service. Uh, we've been together in China. I saw you talking to Andrew in New York many, many times. You always uh, admire the qualities of Andrew Golata. What do you admire about him now? But uh, Right now, as a 42-year-old guy. Well, the same things that I admired before. He was just, a, you know, he's just a great fighter, great athlete, hard worker, smart in the ring. It was just, he just, I th thought he was a tremendous athlete. And you still look look like you don't have to wait a year or even six months to fight, but you decided to step into the retirement. Why? Well, because. Um, the quality of the fighter that I last lost to, uh, I thought would, if I continued in the business, it would be a dishonor to, to, to a sport that I gave so much to. I lost to, a, I lost to a guy that I didn't think I should have lost to, that I never would have lost to a year ago. So once I lost, I'm not taking any weight, anything away from him. He's a great fighter, but he was beneath my caliber. Once I lost him, I just decided no more. Big guy like you is like a, you know, the blueprint for today's heavyweights. Tom my God, I'm like, it's not the blueprint for today's heavyweights. What do you think uh, pushes him uh, so high into the rankings of the heavyweights? Why he's so good? When he's number four, he's going to oh, fight Klitschko in a couple of days. Obviously, he's going to fight Kevin McBride. W what drives Tom Agadamek? Well, Tom Agadamek obviously has a lot of amateur experience, great chin, and fast hands. That is why I believe he's made it to the level he's made it to. He, was, you know, he fought in Poland for a lot of years. He was a Poland champion, European champion. So he has a lot of, he has a very, he has an extensive amateur career. It doesn't matter his size. What about his mental strength? People are saying that there is, there is something behind it because he's like 100% what you see during the, during the training. He can do exactly the same stuff in the ring. How important the mental strength in boxing is? Well, obviously mental strength is everything. I mean, I mean yeah. Mentally, if you're not if you're not where you need to be mentally, then you're nowhere. So I'm very happy that he's able to stay focused because that'll be the that'll be the key ingredient to his final success, his mental focus. How much time do you need to fight Andrew Galata in Warsaw in front of uh, let's say 15,000 people or maybe even 50,000 people? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let me know. You give me a call when I should get ready, and I'll, and I'll do it. We are talking 100% serious. Serious. Uh, it's, so it's not. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, just yeah. you know me, reporter. You are. Uh, I'm very, very, very good boxer. I'll do it. So you would like to do it? I'm very serious. Thank you very much. Please. We are having Jamil McLean on tape saying that you're going to fight Andrew Galata if Andrew says yes. But you know, guys, one more thing, please. Fighting, not hugging. Because I know you guys <laughs> like each other. Uh, no, I like him. I'm not sure he likes me. Thank you very much.